I'm uh, Roberto Sanna. Uh, I'm a, doc a PhD student at the uh, University of Cagliari in Sardinia. And uh, my thesis, my research, deals about uh, the evolution, the transformation of uh, rural landscapes. The title of my research uh, is Architectures for the Field, uh, Farmstead as a new transformation tool for the rural landscape in Sardinia. Um, my research is a part of a bigger uh, research uh, uh, with uh, the University of, uh, uh, of, the, of my island uh, that deals about uh, the extension of the landscape uh, plan to the coastal areas, to the inner land. And so uh, one of my issues is to try to understand uh, the what is the importance and the meaning of the built environment of the countryside of the island. Uh, the first, uh, I think the, the most important theoretical uh, issue uh, of my research is, could be synthesized in this uh, quote of uh, architect Joao Gomez da Silva that said, the landscape must be interpreted simultaneously as a space and as a process as a physical and ecological reality, but even more as a place of human construction. In this sense, the landscape must always be considered as a transformation of naturalness, of naturalessa, and therefore as a form of architecture that transforms the site into a place. I think that these uh, last words are very, very interesting because uh, my research try, tries to uh, find uh, what is the the, con the deep uh, and the strong connection between uh, the built environment and uh, the processes uh, of the landscapes. So, for example, uh, Pierre George, the important uh, geographer, said uh, the dwelling uh, as a, is an epiphenomenon of production, when epiphenomenon uh, means uh, a phenomenon that came after something else. So, uh, I think that it's very interesting uh, that he, um, he put it, uh, he put uh, the production, so the, the artificial transformation of landscape before the very dwelling. And so, for example, in this uh, image uh, of a vineyard, of a very uh, brave uh, vineyard in Sardinia, uh, we can see how important it is to read the ground, to interpret uh, the, the resources of uh, uh, an apparent uh, limited and uh, uh, poor uh, land. So I try uh, to redraw what are the morphologies of the rural phenomena in Sardinia. Sardinia is uh, an island uh, uh, very, very uh, depopulated uh, compared to Sicily, for example, which has the same uh, dimensions. Got uh, one, uh, got uh, one thousand, one uh, million and uh, six hundred thousand inhabitants. Uh, Sicily, for example, uh, got uh, I think uh, six uh, millions habit uh, inhabitants. So, it's a very uh, low uh, settlement uh, density of population. As we can see here, for example, uh, there is a structure made uh, just of uh, little villages surrounded by very big portion. Uh, of cultivated land. In this photo, for example, uh, we can see what are the, the structures of the landscape uh, situation, of the generality of the landscape situation in Sardinia. Uh, in the hills, in the islands, uh, there are most of the villages. And the plains and the cultivated area are, uh, uh, there is a great void just colonized by few little settlements, little farmstead. farmstead. Uh, and it's imp is important to say that uh, the generality, mo most of uh, the settlement structure here in the countryside are rather new. In fact, uh, Sardinia is a um, deep uh, pastoral area. Uh, as we can see here, the crop lands uh, occupy just the uh, few parts of the islands, just the plain and the area of the ag agrarian reform of the early 90s. Geographer uh, studied Sardinia uh, starting from the, um, the grand tour of the 19th century. And uh, in this, uh, in this uh, picture, 
of the 19th century, we can see what are the morphologies, the, the structure of the islands that we can uh, reassume in these uh, worlds. An island of very complex orography, a low density settlement, internal colonization, is internal isolation, an agro-pastoral uh, economy and culture, and uh, is, is very important, an uncompleted modernization process. Here we can, s uh, we can uh, see how Costantino Nivola, one of the most important uh, Italian and Sardinia, of course, uh, artist, draw the Sardinian landscape. Uh, in a very expressive way, he redraw the very complex system of uh, agricultural lands, just the few villages, the hills, and so on. We can say that uh, because of this, because uh, the Sardinian uh, habitat uh, for centuries uh, uh, was uh, concentrated just in the villages, uh, art, uh, artists draw it uh, like uh, a system of faces. For example, here, Giuseppe Altana draw three kind of drawing that uh, uh, represents uh, the passages from the urban, from the domestic nest of the, cor of the courtyard villages, to the countryside colonized just a few little uh, uh, buildings and uh, most of the all, most of the all part of the landscape are uh, pasture lands uh, uh, to the outfield the pastoral outfield just colonized by by few walls of the transhumances here uh, Costantino Nivola of course uh, uh, dr draw one of the typical, uh, the characteristic uh, kind of buildings that colonized the island. And uh, he said that the countryside is an ephemeral and temporary place of residence in Sardinia. But uh, is ephemeral and temporary, but uh, also uh, here is very important that, that uh, the la the just the few uh, objects that colonize the landscape in Sardinia uh, are most of the time in the very spot in the same places of the megalithic and the archaeological places for example here we see uh, Nurage, uh, uh, one of the tower well, one of the thousand of uh, megalithic tower of the island and uh, nearby a little uh, hut of uh, shepherds that uh, most uh, probably uh, reused the very uh, stones of the Nurage to build this this is uh, very important because uh, is a kind of hotspot that say that uh, there are few privileged pieces to, uh, to settle in the countryside, in a very complex and morphologically comp uh, countryside. Uh, these uh, images that I made for a research, for a parallel research, uh, which in me, uh, that is called uh, curatorias, that represent the evolution and the, uh, the shapes of the, of the landscape uh, in Sardinia. So my research deals about the structures and the types of rurality in Sardinia. As we see, as we saw, out of the villages, there is, there is a system of very little farmstead that colonize huge portions of lands. And uh, it just is, it's not just um, a kind of, uh, of colonization, but also of uh, shapes, of uh, form of landscapes. It's important to say that, uh, uh, as I saw before, as I said, said before, uh, the, in Sardinia, the colonization of the, of the countryside uh, is a very um, uh, young process. Um, and uh, there, is, uh, there was, uh, until the 19th, a traditional model made of transhumance and agropastoral culture, until the specialized model of the industrialization of the countryside, which uh, um, settled the shepherds to the countryside and uh, make the create a very huge process of uh, co construction in the countryside. In this uh, in this uh, phenomenon, Sardinia, for example, is one of the Italian uh, uh, region where the average utilized agricultural area is one of the biggest. So this uh, means that uh, for uh, every farmstead present in Sardinia, each, each farmstead uh, has a kind of responsibility of a very huge portion of land. And considering that uh, most, the most uh, important uh, eco economy in Sardinia is the, uh, bre the breeding of animals, uh, most of these uh, farmsteads uh, control uh, very natural uh, and environmental important areas uh, in the island. 
So uh, my research deals about uh, the, uh, the, the, th the issues of multifunctionality, of the, the role of the economic exploitation and the ecologies uh, seen by the built environment of the, of the farmstead. From the complex buildings in the field to the minimal ones. And uh, studying how they change their shapes in a very limited uh, time. So we, here we can see uh, uh, some kind of modification processes that are just in one century uh, constructed. And uh, we, we can see a very important f uh, phenomena of evolution of buildings. And it's very important to say that uh, all these processes of evolution of the architecture are made just by very few and minimal elements, as we can say, for example, here in the, this uh, picture of uh, Bragdon. So we can see uh, a kind of uh, complexity of a simple element. So through which forms in the age of multifunctionality does the farms that still appear to be the engine of transformation, and so the production of uh, the landscape. I try to divide the island for my research in three areas. The first, which is the biggest, of course, uh, are the area of the agroforestry, where there are uh, uh, renaturalized mountains and uh, enclosed highlands, polycultural hills, etc. The areas of the forage revolution, where uh, there are the plains, uh, in which uh, the, the, the most important uh, transformation of the landscape uh, took place. And then the, uh, what uh, Lelanou, Maurice Lelanou called plots of specialized crops that are the most fertile areas of the island. And I try to give to each of these uh, features of uh, landscape, uh, try to find what are the most common buildings that uh, overlook, that colonize uh, these uh, portions of land. From the pastoral clearing in the mountain to the terraced systems, the breeding enclosures, the polycultural bocage, the zootechnic platforms, which are those of the uh, forage revolution in the plains, which are more complex from the other of the mountain, and then the, the, the orchard platforms. So we can see in a kind of a valley section structure that uh, to each uh, kind of uh, rural landscape correspond a very precise kind of architecture that colonize in a different way the, the rural landscape, uh, the, the portion of land that uh, uh, belongs in a way to each uh, farmstead. And it's very interesting because uh, such uh, built configuration, uh, as Bernardo Secchi said, could translate the nature of the land, the slope, the orientation, the different materials and their characteristic and constructive uh, potential. Here we can see uh, the topological study of uh, rural artifact in a, in a complexity matrix, in a growing uh, complexity matrix, from the ancient one to the most uh, complex and recent and also I analyzed the, the voids, the relationship between the buildings. So uh, the recurrent buildings, uh, built elements of country, uh, uh, Sardinian countryside are very simple and uh, they are like uh, an evolution from the hut to the, court, uh, to the courtyard. Uh, in conclusion, I would like to show you uh, one of the case studies of my research where I, um, I studied the evolution, the diachronic of an exploitation of uh, an average farmstead in Sardinia, which is uh, in, province, uh, in, in the in internal area of the island. It's very interesting because in just uh, 50 years, uh, it grows very in, in a very massive way. For example, this uh, is the the, what I call the adaptive model of the 20s to the specialized uh, models of the 60s, where the, the enclosures became more geometrical following the, re the agrarian reform, to the new buildings uh, uh, financed by the 
fin financed by the European, uh, European Union to the, the, the instant moment where the, this uh, pastoral settlement is uh, now is a multifunctional farm. It's, it's interesting to note that uh, the, the evolution also of the, of the, of the vegetation and uh, the, its relation with uh, the artifact, with the walls and buildings. And so also I study what are the relation uh, to the, in the ground of these elements and the relation is important to say that, for example, the old uh, pastoral enclosure became a terraced wall, a, a, an orchard for the fruits. It's very interesting because, as Leder Barros say, uh, this evolution incorporated the construction into the process of perpetual becoming of topography. So, uh, in, in double conclusion, and uh, con uh, farmstead as a collective landscape tool. Uh, Alexander said uh, that it is very interesting to define all farms as a park where the public has the right to be and make all the regional park into working farms, which each uh, stewardship responsible for one part of the countryside and the public is free to visit the land, etc. Uh, is, it also is important to say that uh, this kind of uh, construction of the landscape uh, could be uh, summoned as uh, reassumed in the true way of building the, uh, building the land from the stereotomic to the tectonic, from the cavern to the hut. And uh, this uh, low definition architecture in the countryside, this very poor uh, low definition architecture, I think that is very, is an issue is a very important issue for uh, all uh, those uh, places uh, of Mediterranean, but also of the world, of very m incompleted modernization, of uh, try to make uh, more with a very less uh, uh, resources. Thank you.